Alright, finally, after two dungeons right in a row, we've apparently triggered a cutscene. What's this? In an ancient ruin, there appears to be an inscription. Could it be a spell? Mayo doesn't like this place, apparently. Are you alright, Mayo? Can I get you a sandwich? Kazan says that day, memories of the day her powers got out of hand. If only I had seen the signs. Had I been aware of her powers, I would have been able to stop it. The tragedy. It could have been prevented. What happened? Mayo. Mayo's family. When her powers ran amok, they were wiped from the face of this earth. Oh my. Doplin says, who dares to trespass here? Speak if you value your lives. Your faces are familiar, those fugitive mystics. If I had known to find you here, it would have spared me the trouble of sending Elliot. Oh, it's that cute little monster. Doblin says, don't be frightened, I won't harm you. I'm the Lord of Derrican and the Bishop of the Holy Order. I never lie. And who are you? I have no business with you. Step away from there at once. Who do you think you are? You're only a petty villain who somehow came into power. How dare you? You would call a bishop a villain? There's not an iota of evil in me. Your eyes betray you. The truth is plain for all to see. <laughs> They're just glaring at each other. And what would the villain be plotting in such a room? Planning to call in some demons, were you? Demons? Perhaps you're right. The people of Cabell who perished several thousand years ago studied demonology here in this very room. Magic that manipulates heaven and earth, such powers could very well beget demons. Doplin says, You're wrong, Vilna. I do not aspire to create demons. I require soldiers of Jesus. The entity that governs all life, that is God. I seek the power that manipulates life at will. And this room, it gives me that power. The wisdom of Cabell will reveal to me the way of God. You disgust me. All you speak are words of selfish desire. What blasphemy to even consider manipulating nature and life to suit your own will. God. Don't make me laugh. Oh, ha, ha. It is impossible for lowly folk like you to comprehend my will. I alone hear the voice of God. About to hear my knuckles up, yes. Using brute force? Is that your solution? I am ruler of this country, not to mention God's will on earth. You dare to strike me? Apparently you are not aware that blasphemy against the heavens has dire consequences. I've been wanting to fight him since the second dungeon in the game. says Mayo. Why are we just standing by and watching this? Do you understand now? Bow before the power of Cabell, the power of God. With the strength of the Cabell and the Mystics at my command, I have established the ideal world that I always envisioned. Join me. What do you say? I grant you the opportunity to join God in creating a utopia. Ah, uh, no thanks, bro. No thanks, bro! <laughs> what is this, Resident Evil 4, the remake? 
Fwahaha, fool! Nothing is impossible with the secrets of Cabela my command. As they say, the true path is apparent only in hindsight. I am truly disappointed. Had you decided to follow me, you could have been honored citizens of a beautiful utopia. Balna says, Bishop, surely you're not going to. Doplin says, It cannot be helped. Uh, God's servants, they may be, but they are of no use to me if they refuse to do my bidding. He will surely understand. Alas, this too must be a test that God has placed before me. It pains me. Oh, how it pains me so. It is time for Sir Logar to test his new powers on you. Even you are helpless against the powers of Capel, revel in the strength before you depart for the other world. God damn. Can I fight this thing yet? Or are we just gonna sit here jerking off all day? Let's see if you like my Pinocchio stocky. I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> I think I'm losing my mind. What do we do, Master? It can be helped. We will have to take care of this on our own. Origin moves aren't working! My powers have no effect. A fiend of the dark can only be beaten with light. Diva! Master? Keep your wits about you. He's distorting his own image. It's no wonder that the moves have no effect. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, watch out! Good lord. Just like before. Again. Mayo, was that you? Was that your power? I remember this terrible light, this very same light. Mayo! Did I? You can speak? Your voice is returned. What happened? Did I use that power again? Why do I have this power? How I wish I didn't. Then father and mother... Wah wah. Wouldn't be dead, I guess? Mayo, don't blame yourself. We couldn't have defeated him ourselves. We needed your power to do it. Power isn't inherently good or evil, it's up to the person that wields it. We wouldn't have survived without you. Thank you, Bunny, but I don't know how to use magic. Really? Mayo has potential for magic in her blood. She has yet to be able to wield it. But at that moment, we must concentrate on finding our way out of this labyrinth and into the castle. You're right, the Aqualith awaits. Let's go. Basics of Hyperdimensional Demon Theory. I was hoping it would have told me. 
me some stuff, not just the title. I guess now's not the time to read a book.
I have better things to do. The soldiers say, hey, who are you? This clown. You there, says the red armored hulk. What impertinent behavior to display here in Dublin Castle. Insolence. Impertinence. Up ahead is St. Chaprian's Church, Dublin Bishop of the Holy Order of Banderas is. Brain officer. You shouldn't say that. Oh yeah, Stoplin, bringing in the sacred Azure Stone is top secret, huh? This is the guy. He's the one that defeated Balkan. What? Balkan? You should address him as the mighty Balkan. So this is the lot that killed my brother. I'll show you a thing or two before you die. To avenge his death. For the honor of the Red Knights. In the name of Saint Jeprian. I, Rainoff, will make you see hell on Earth. Good luck at that. What's the matter? Speechless at the sight of me, are you? Well, there's no escape. I will avenge my brother's death and kill you slowly, inch by inch. Yeah, I got an inch for ya. Crimson Warriors.
How's that? Hmm. I see. This must be the origin I have heard about. I cannot stop trembling. Its power is incredible. <laughs> I'm filled with fear, but I will not run away. After all, I am Raynor the Brave, leader of the Red Knight! Sir Raynor! All hail Raynor the Brave, pride of the Red Knight! of battle. <laughs> this one reeks of Vulcan's regret. <laughs> I can also smell you burning in hell. <laughs> Come, leave us! of the person who stole my brother's life. However, I am far from finished. The people do not call me Rain of the Brave for no reason. Now, on behalf of countless lives and their unfulfilled wishes, come, I will cross you. Serena. All hail, rain off the braid, pride of the Red Knights! <laughs> this fucking voice is hilarious. Let me do this, this also. Prepare yourself! Test the Didn't expect that! Light of life!
Falcon. Forgive me. I could not do it. Brother, now our redemption is in your hands. Sir Raynaf. He's down! Sir Raynaf is down! Run! Ooh. <laughs>
Yes, there's no question about it. He's a star shaper. If you want the stone, go ahead and take it. Soon the eclipse will completely cover the earth and a new world will be born. And then the old race will perish and only the mystics will survive. I was born with one purpose alone, to change the world. I will become the ruler. You are the chosen one. Come and build this new world with me. No thanks, buddy. I came here to save my village. Do you think I'd help you with your crazy scheme? Our powers are for protecting the natural order and this world. I would rather die than be part of your plan. So, you refuse to cooperate, do you? You insist on defiance. Yep, that's right. I see. Velna says, Avalon, let me handle this. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Wait just a minute, Avalon. Hold it, we're not through talking. Slogar is... Oh, but you probably don't remember that name. The beast you fought was just a mere imitation of the real thing. The one I'm summoning now, from the depths of hell, is the true beast. Although its appearance is similar, you will know the difference as you pass from this world. Disobey our hearts, there's a price to be paid for such action. <sighs> Feels like he could almost rip out my heart just by looking at me. Leave this to us, and hide in a safe place. I'm scared. But we can't run. I'm fighting too. Nothing is going to stop me from returning the Aqualith. Not even this thing. Right. Magic. We can't. No, I can't. What should I do? 
I have to do something. Or else... This thing came from another world. Does this beast have any weakness? I won't lose! I will keep my promise and return with the Aqualith! No matter what, I'll never give up!
of judgment. Fire, Sana, Sana. Kazan says, we're alive, and it's all thanks to Mayo. That guy said Bunny's a star shaper. That man also carries the supreme origin. What was he saying? Something called the Eclipse would be completely covering the Earth. How mysterious. The stone is starting to glow again. Bunny. You can save your village now that you've got the stone back, right? Yeah, but... If that's the case, let's get a move on and get back to your village. But I still wonder, why did he give it back to me? Perhaps his pur purpose is fulfilled with it. Alna says, I'm so sorry, I had no idea that my demon could be defeated. Take these back to their altars. The sacred stones, but... Yes, of course. Rouse and I will defend them to the death. What are you thinking, having them take the sacred stones back? I want to give that boy a little test. I want to see if he has the same power that I do. If he really is a star shaper, he'll eventually find his way to me and he'll be carrying all three. I look forward to that moment. The eclipse will soon start. If I want to create a new world, I must gain control of the power now. Kazan says, you sir seem happy that you're putting back the Aqualith. Bonnie, what's the matter? You seem different somehow. Marcus, I finally brought back the Aqualith. Really? You have it? 
Yeah, I brought it back. Wait here, I'll tell everybody. Kazan says, Your struggles were not in vain, Bunny, but all of this was not your during doing alone. Only with the help of Mei and I were you able to succeed. Huh? Do you hear me, Bunny? Yeah, I'm listening. Thanks. Since that dismal day, the day Aqualith was stolen, we have endured a grim existence. But, you saved us. On behalf of everyone in town, let me express our gratitude. Now, the hand that returned the Aqualith must restore it to its rightful place. Bunny, you son of a gun, you really did it! Ah, tonight we must celebrate your success. That's right, we gotta get moving. Come on, Nancy. Wait a minute. Bunny, I'm so proud of you. Jamama. Well, here comes the toast of the town. I'm gonna cook up something extra special for tonight. The ingredients are top secret. Kazan and Mayo, you're eating too, right? I think it would be a pity for us not to accept the invitation. Thanks, I hope it won't be an inconvenience. Oh no, it's nothing special, but please stay and make yourselves at home. Yeah, trust me, it really is nothing special. What did you say? If I'm not mistaken, aren't you always the one asking for seconds and thirds? Well, I guess I have to let you off the hook today, since you brought back the Aqualith. It's not like it, you brought it back all by yourself, though. Just you, Bunny? That would be impossible. Quick, Nancy, something's burning. A waste of a perfectly good meal. Leave, the, leave us for a day or two, and what do you know, you come back looking more like a man. Kazan, you've certainly worked wonders on him. I suppose it's up to me to thank you, seeing that I'm the closest thing to a father that he has. How about joining me in my room for a drink? You look like you can knock him back. Oh, do I hear a challenge to a drinking contest? Be warned, I can drink till kingdom come. This should be interesting. As you wish, we'll drink until one of us can drink no more. I hope we don't run out. Oh no, don't worry about cleaning up. I got it. Mayo says, please, I'm used to this sort of thing. Well, if you insist. Mayo and Kazan have left the party. I'm so glad to see everyone overjoyed. Hey, stop getting in my way. Alright, then I'll go be gay in the other room. Let's take a nap. Everybody left? Seems kind of weird. Tighten your stance. Yeah, yeah. Guide your weight through your fist. Combine your moves, large and small, and finish off the opponent. Yo, bunny, you're finally awake. Since you said that he was your master, I thought he'd teach me a little bit. His style may be unrefined, but he has a lot of potential. Really? You think so? I think it's time we left, Galvan. Let's be off, then. We thought we'd go to the woods to do a little hunting. And I'll be going along to make sure that you don't get attacked by monsters. Well, I'll look forward to the next lesson. Seems like we have some free time. Any ideas? There's nothing wrong with taking it easy. Rest has its merits, but I want to get some exercise. A warrior can never neglect his training. What do you say, a stroll to the woods? That's the ideal place to train, and I'll teach you some new moves. 
isn't the real reason you want to go. Bunny, what do you want to do? Let's go. So Galvin says, look at this, a huge tailed deer. That's certainly quite a catch. Did you really kill all those monsters? That was nothing. I'm the captain after all. Huh? The sky. What's happening? It got cloudy all of a sudden. Maybe there's a storm, but that doesn't seem right. What's going on? This is creepy. The sun is black. Monsters! What the heck are these things? You two, go back to town. What are you gonna do? Don't worry about us. Let us take care of it. Galvin, go home and warn the people. Alright, but I want you to be careful. monsters were terrible. Was it caused by the black sun? I wonder. There was a bit of a flash. Then those things were suddenly alive again. It's just like that mural, the one that we saw at the church. Oh yeah! Soon the eclipse will completely cover the earth and a new world will be born. So this is the eclipse that Avalon was talking about. If what he said was true, it's gotta be more than just this. I mean, if we believe he's trying to destroy the world and create a new one, then this is the only... Sorry, then this is only the beginning, an omen. If something terrible is going to happen, it'll come later, that's what I think. Anyway, let's get back to town. Everybody's probably worried. Galvin says, Bunny, are you alright? Don't worry about me, I never saw anything like that before, but it was no match for me. Is the town alright? Yeah, I don't think anyone's seen that before, especially not in Hunter's Wood, but you never know when we'll run into something like that again, so we better be careful. Monsters are now mutating into even greater monstrosities. You think the Black Sun had something to do with it? I don't know, but it sure is ominous. Galvin, I advise you stay out of the Hunter's Wood for a while. Fair guests, my apologies for the disturbance. Bunny, it's time for rest. In all my years, I've never seen a sky like this. And with the events at the woods, it's a dire portrait indeed.
Is this what that guy meant? An origin of infinite power? Are we going to become like those monsters? I don't want that. And we just brought back the Aqualith. Are we going to sit here and watch the world crumble right before our eyes? There must be something we can do. I mean, that we can do. Me? Everyone? The world? All changed? No, we can't let this happen. Bunny, you have spoken well. I feel very much the same. But that black sun, there are too many things that are not known to us. Mayo says, Kazan, let's ask Raim. Raim? He's a spirit that lives... A spirit that has lived as one with the earth from days of old. It's possible if anyone can tell us about the black sun or the rot, it would be Raim. So, where are they? In my hometown, past the forest maze. Alright, let's get going. Bunny, you know us quite far. I am certain there are many who will be sad to see you go after you've returned. Prepare well for your journey. We'll be waiting at the entrance of town. Come when you feel that you are ready to depart. Hey everybody, what's up? Bizees. Goodbye. Bye, buddy. Are you finished? We're leaving if you're ready. I'm all set. Well, shall we get to Yuno? Yeah! Which way is it? West of Derekin through the forest maze. It's a strange mist that's in the forest, and it confuses one's senses, senses and makes us lose our way. Only the Mazel Red Sand will be able to counter the forest's evil presence. I think there's some at my house. But it's out of the way. We should go back to Mount Gable to get it. What's the matter, Bunny? Nothing at all. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna call this an episode. I got some editing to do. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.